Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers back up in it with a does it basketball with a basketball shoe. But it's not. But it's not. It's like... Basketball inspired. Yeah, a lot of shoes coming out now are like basketball inspired. Yeah. Which I guess that means they're just kind of taking basketball aesthetics. More more, more so like retro basketball aesthetics, yeah, usually. I guess. I guess. I don't but know. it's more like a Tim Berlin to me. It almost looks more like a military... I know, right? Uh issue or something you know? what's the damage on these like 80 bucks 100 bucks 110 110 yeah interesting and then the runner was like 90 bucks i think I yes something like that 110 120 correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but whatever same thing um and i did hoop in these yes so does it basketball yeah that's that's the question uh these are probably still readily available if you want to cop no nah, they're sold out they're sold they're out sold out you guys can get it on stock x like or goat or something rare yeah um, um if you do want to cop links are below yes i guess um but uh let's get start off with the traction you got texture and you got squares diamond dimples yes how uh, is that traction sucks it sucks yeah really no bite i mean you were stopping like Kind of good though. Picks up dust instantaneously. Oh shit, okay. I mean, and it never has like the craziest bite. Mm. Very, very silent, um, which yeah, doesn't mean everything. Yeah. But sometimes, for me, like more times than not, when it's silent, it's a little worse than if it's squeaky. Really? Maybe that's just my placebo effect, but um, yeah, tr traction sucked. Um, yeah. But it's doable. It, listen, it's not like a sock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, you could do it. <laughs> yeah. Right? I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it's not, like, the best option compared to, like, you know, real performers, current performers. So, yeah, that's that's strike one. Okay. Uh, but moving on to the cushion. The cushion is full-length cushion. You guys already know it. It's the soft-type cushion. Yeah, you can feel it in hand. Yeah. Just yeah. squishing it. Yeah, so how is that? Feels great? Real nice. Real nice. I mean, I love cushion. Yeah. The only it's, bad thing is that it, it, it bottoms out quickly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these soft foams or real squishy foams can bottom out quite fast. Yes. Um, but React does not. It lasts a lot longer. So that's why we love React, yeah. you know? But yeah, so imp I mean, it seems really low in the forefoot. How yeah. How does court feel? Court feels really good, uh, but that also means you don't really feel much in the forefoot, mm -hmm. depending on what you like. I'm not really mad at that because I kind of like to just stay bouncy on my toes anyways. Mm -hmm. I, I like to have more of my impact protection in the heel, which you get, and you also get some bounce. It's a great cushion setup for basketball. Mm -hmm. Great. And it's and, and uh, I guess we'll talk about stepping comfort a little bit just as far as the cushion. Just walking around, you can feel, a little, feel it a little bit too. Mm -hmm. um, the insole is like pretty garbage. Yeah, it's just a regular ortholite insole. It's yeah. Like, yeah. So a cushion is very, very nice, and I wish they would just do cushions like this, dude. You know, like don't Please. put any other type of compound to make it stiffer, don't make it a core, just make it, you know, the exact, like, like this, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, but anyways, that's the cushion there. Materials, you have more of like a ballistic nylon type of material. It's, it reminds you of the J, J Crossover 3? Three, 3, yeah. 3, but a little bit more of a tighter weave. Yeah, it's a very, very smooth weave, and it's... So smooth. It's like nice. Nice. Yeah. I mean, it, these these nylon uh, like uh, mesh nylon uppers are crazy strong. Military grade. Yeah. You know? And it's not that thick. It feels pretty thin. Yeah. Like really soft. And is it, is it like comfortable on foot? Yeah, super comfortable on foot. It, and then you got these this chevron, which is that's what this is called. I recently learned this Converse logo is actually 3M. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little touch. Uh, you got your kind of basic oval laces. Um, some kind of synthetic leather in the heel and then some uh, I, I like how they did this just like a thin stripe of overlay around the whole bottom yeah and that'll just give you support like low you know mm -hmm. just a little bit of support um, it, the materials are bang are banging I'm not really mad at all exactly. and for basketball they're they're great materials yep um, all right uh, moving on to the fit Fit is uh, runs a little long. A lot of Converse run long, so you could go down half the size. Um, fit is, I would say, slightly narrow to normal. So keep that in mind. Um, I did go down half a size, and, and I was pretty good. How is that toe space? Toe space isn't bad. Seems pretty roomy now. No, okay. it's not that bad. All right. Yeah. 
Okay, and then of course it is it is a high cut. So we'll move on to support and lockdown. How is it? Crazy. Yeah. Uh, great support and lockdown. The ankle though is like there's no ankle restriction if that's what you're looking for. Really? Uh, it, it kind of it's is weird like, fit. It kind of just like balloons out uh, on yeah, your ankles. Yeah. So you don't even feel it. It should just be a low. Yeah. Because you don't even feel anything on your ankle. Kind of like the KD12? Yeah, yeah. It, it's really weird. I'm not a fan of it. I wish they would have just chopped it off. But you know, this is more of an aesthetic shoe. So that's kind of why they did that. It's interesting how lateral support is good though. Yeah, it Maybe is. Maybe it's because it uh, all has to do with the material being supported or something like that. You know? I think there's that. And this overlay is pretty strong. Yeah. It's not a really thin fuse. It's like a full synthetic overlay. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, you're, you're pretty much all the way supported. Okay. All right, moving on to the weight. 17. 17. That's about average. That's about average? Yeah, I would say, yeah. Yeah, how is it though? Uh, yeah, you feel pretty light and responsive actually. Um, you know, it, it, it's not the lightest shoe, but um, for how kind of rigid it feels, like it feels kind of solid like a boot. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty um, light feeling. I wouldn't say minimal feeling, uh -huh. but light. Um, and, but because of the traction, you do not feel crazy responsive. If you did have nice traction, uh, you would be you would feel pretty damn responsive. Mm -hmm. um, All right, ventilation. Uh, I, I didn't notice it any either way. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely not super cool, but but not warm either. So okay, uh, durability should be good though. And these are tanks. You these can are go tanks. To war with these. Hell yeah! Well, um, holy shit! And outdoor use is probably okay. Yeah. Um, we don't really hoop outdoors too much, but these are well built, and for the price, you know. Uh, not a bad option mm -hmm. as far as durability. Uh, so uh, would you recommend it for casual use? Is it comfortable? Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, if you like the aesthetics um, and you want a little bit of comfort to go along with that, then yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's not the most comfortable shoe by any means. Um, it's kind of more uh, cumbersome and a little more rigid. It's more of a boot feel, yeah. you know what I mean, than, than, than like a runner or like a, something with a soft knit. So is it like clunky though, like for a heel no, to toe transition? it's not like, actually. Yeah, because the cushion is soft. Yeah. Right? yeah. So you have a nice heel to toe transition, even just casually, but, and of course when you're hooping too, you know, you, you got a nice, you know, comfortable step, a nice transition, so. Yeah. All right, moving on to aesthetics. No for me, dog. Nah, nah bro. A lot of people nah, like man. these, though. I don't really? know why. Yeah, on Instagram, when, when we posted a picture, like, oh, those are sick. I was like, I don't know about that, but you know, someone's just off about it. I don't like it. Yeah, Tinker, you need to chill, bro. He's, he's tinkering chill, around too much. Man. He is tinkering around too you much. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so for a hundred and a hundred ten, something like that, hundred bucks. Does it basketball? It's always a tough answer because yeah, basketballs. But, but the basketball well. compared to today's standards, no. Like the traction. If the if it had good traction, these would be a go. Yeah. They'd be crazy performers. That, that's it, right? That's, that's it. That's it. Like everything else seemed good. Everything else is crazy. Yeah. Crazy good. Yeah. You know, for the price. Um, yeah, you get full length cush line and all that. You yeah. know. So I mean, uh, I wish the traction was better, but I do too. I mean. Yeah, so don't don't get these to hoop in just because the traction. Eh, you, you're not gonna be a happy camper unless these you're playing outdoors and you want something crazy durable. I mean, this outsole seems pretty damn durable. Yeah. What 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 are these called anyway? Star Series basketball or something like that. Yeah. Converse Star Series BB, BB something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyways, they're I. Right. So yeah. if you want, you guys can hoop in it for a little bit, but not recommended. Yeah. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next. Time. Later. Peace.